the Joe Rogan experience. You know, it's like they think that about football helmets, too, that they would actually be a safer game if they couldn't clash heads with a helmet on, that they huh. wouldn't do it. They wouldn't play like that. <laughs> That's they, just not true. Them clashing <laughs> skulls is <laughs> not safer. <laughs> uh, could you imagine if they, but, but the idea is that the only reason why they play that way is because of the helmets and the foot, shoulder gear. Yeah. But if you took that stuff away, they wouldn't play like that. Yeah, well, okay, back in the I day, they, had, they barely had any pads in, you know, 30s or 40s or whatever when they were playing Bro. with those little tiny helmets. Bro, that game. If you were an outsider, like if you didn't know how big it was, like if you didn't understand anything about the cultural significance of football and they showed you all the brain damage and they showed you what it is, you'd be like, oh, yeah, make that illegal. Yeah, like, probably. Oh, yeah. If stop anything it. should be illegal. Yeah. Stop doing that, kids. Yeah. It's, it's too not, constant, yeah. Don't, it, don't run into each other. Don't smash heads. That's I, crazy. I, I the can't believe. The defensive offensive line, just the but idea that is the funniest so thing. As soon as you say go... Just clunk heads with another right, human being. But of being course, we don't speed. want it to be illegal, and it's nah. a fun thing to watch, and it's a, a great way for some guys to make a fuckload of money and weigh the risks versus the rewards. Yeah, but then sure. a bunch of middle schoolers are snapping their necks, yep. and my kid will never play football. Oh yeah, it's I get funny. It. It could, but where do you it, stop? They could then they could illegalize MMA with that uh, well, justification. Well, with MMA, I don't want that could. to happen. It's, uh, because we we. Punching and kicking is so in inherently violent. That's we, we see it as being this violent act, right? That it's, we go, oh shit, fighting. That's like crazy. That's the most violent sport. But it's so much less of a dangerous sport than football. Football, these guys are just running head first at each other. And every one of them, every one of them has major, major issues. You also get blindsided yeah. in football. Yep. You know, you'll have your eye on someone and then you get head to head taken out <laughs> from someone else. That doesn't happen as much in MMA. But... I mean, when people get like head kick knocked unconscious, that's not good for your brain. No, I but mean, how often are football players bad. being concussed all just per game, like lot, just smashing into each other? Time, yeah. And then they get up and they just do it again and again and again. Well, now they're, they're a little bit stricter, I think, on like if you get a concussion, they they won't put you back in, at least the way they used to, like when I was a kid. But it's still but happening. But I think all fighters are what getting concussed once every, if, you know, once a year, if, if they're getting knocked out once a year. I mean, you know. But there's a also sub-concussive trauma, yeah. which seems to be the problem with CTE. Hmm. It's not just the knockouts. It's just the thumps. The over and over again. thumps over and over and over And over training, time. sparring. Yeah, yeah these that's guys. The, they so think that's the real problem. That's why also soccer players are getting it. Right. Soccer players are starting to get CTE. So what you, what's ball. worse, like getting like a Conor McGregor one-punch knockout or fighting Nick Diaz and just getting like for question. five rounds? Probably you're probably better off getting one punch. Yeah, payload. flash knockouts probably yeah. better than. Yeah, you're probably better off getting dropped. Just Getting beat up by Nick Diaz for 15 minutes wasn't would just that, suck. Wasn't that the actual just initial, you? <laughs> wasn't the initial argument about MMA being safer than boxing is that it's not so much so, you know, with the gloves being bigger in boxing and all that stuff that's actually worse because you're going to keep taking too many well, shots. Well, eight count as well. You can get knocked down and then get up and go right. At, you'll be concussed and like, all right, keep on fighting. Um, whereas yeah. in MMA, they'll stop it if, you, if you're not defending yourself. That's, so That's probably definitely better. Yeah, the thing about eight counts and ten counts like but people have gotten off the deck and had amazing performances so you'd never want to stop it like look at tyson fury gets off the deck twice against deontay wilder mm. in mma that fight would have been stopped right right so it's like one of those things particularly the last round when he dropped him he would have definitely punched him a few times and he would have been out cold because he was flat yeah yeah flat on his back um in mma that would be the end of the fight and we are lucky it wasn't because he got up like a fucking superhero and even won the rest of the round. He outboxed him for the rest of the round. He, he uh, survived the initial barrage and then started catching him as he was coming in. And as Deontay was being reckless, he caught him one time, like stung him. And you're like, holy shit, he's winning this round now. Like, he's winning the rest of the round after getting almost obliterated. So yeah. there's an argument that that's better. The crazy the thing. Entertainment value. But the crazy thing from the CTE like perspective about boxing to me is that You'll, people will get hit and then they get hit and grab someone because that's just everyone's instinct mm -hmm. and they grab them and then you have a little ref who goes no 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 keep keep punching yeah. the heads like don't yeah. don't do anything to avoid from it no 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 step yeah. it back out and then they do, and that in MMA you'll see a lot someone get hit and then you know they get into a clinch and you get a few minutes mm -hmm. in a clinch where they're kind of like okay I'm not taking head All the damage time. right now but the smart thing about that is that's how you're supposed to fight. Like you're giving people options to defend yeah. themselves. It shouldn't be you can't defend yourself other than punching back. That seems yeah. that seems kind of crazy. Like, but I could grab them and just stop these punches. No, 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 against the rules. Like, and what it, kind of rules do we have? Like, you can only beat me up if I let you beat me. That up? was yeah. one of the points you that the Gracies like used pussies to make. And dance around for a half hour. But mm. do you remember the original those like Gracie videos that they'd make in early UFC? Gracie and, in action. Yeah, yeah, and what they used to say all the time was, and it's so true. It was so interesting is that if two boxers just have a street fight. 
they're going into a clinch, and it's probably going to end up on the ground at some point. Sometimes, like if Because yeah. the ref has to break up a clinch over and over and over again to make boxing happen. Like, even when, even when you're a professional boxer and you don't know anything about wrestling or grappling, you still end up grabbing the other guy because that's just like... The only time that doesn't take place is when one guy knows how to strike and the other guy doesn't. And you see a lot of those videos yeah. online where two dudes decide to get into some sort of a street altercation and one guy actually is like a boxer and he, <laughs> and, and he catches the guy and the guy falls and bounces his head off the concrete out cold. There's a bunch of those. Yeah, that, that's out. bad. That's mm -hmm. different. See, the thing about the Gracie Jiu Jitsu is like, you got to always be aware there's people like that out there. There's there's always guys who can punch you in the face. And if they know how to wrestle too, and they can keep you away and just keep punching you in the face, you better know how to take them down. You just you don't know, know dude. Fuck, dude. 2019, you have well, no, no idea. idea. Yeah. Who yeah. knows now who people what? know shit. You yeah. got to look, look at their ears. You got to look for little signs. <laughs> like, you look in their eyes, look shake the their hand. Look at their necks. Yeah, yeah dude. Like, dudes with skinny necks aren't getting choked. But yeah, as far as, like, skill, like, definitely, yeah, you don't it's know. It's a weird time for fighting, you know. It's like, and we, we, but we, I like both kinds. I like just stand-up only fights. I like watching those. And I like mixed martial arts fights. But I think... Like uh, Terrence Crawford's coming on next, and I think watching someone like him box, like when you see the skill level that that guy has, switching stances, doing all kinds of befuddling people, getting their range, figuring them out, and then just teeing them up with perfect timing. Like that's almost only possible, that kind of artistry, if there's no wrestling. Right. If there's no leg kicks, if there's only the boxing. That's the only way you see that. Like that, that kind of like beautiful combination. Because otherwise, you would do other shit too. Yeah. You would leg kick. You would try to take them down, and that. So, you, like the the level of dominance that a real Floyd Mayweather, a real world champion boxer has with their hands, it's hard to really appreciate until you see it live and you know like what you're seeing. Like if you're in in the the building with a guy when he's beating somebody up when they're sparring. It's like you go, oh, <laughs> like this is you guys are playing two totally different games. Well, yeah, bo boxing. It's like I literally look at boxing as like very much a sport, and I think MMA is the closest thing that we have to competitive fighting. Hundred percent. That's sort of like the difference. It's you know, all things considered, it's still not fighting. You can't grab somebody's fucking balls and yank them off their you body and bite their nose. To. I know. You used to be able to. You used to not the be able the to Joe bite. Son who got yeah, a, you couldn't bite and you couldn't eye gouge. Hit him with a fucking trash can and lid. You can't, you can't, you can't <laughs> fish hook. And then, but you used to be able to punch the balls. There was a fucking great video of Keith Hackney fighting Joe Son. Yeah. Joe Son got a, got him in a headlock, and Keith Hackney's just hammering his dick. I mean, full blast over punches over, again. over and over. And you see, like, Joe San's, like, going into shock. He takes a few of them, and he's like, I'm not yeah. letting go of this yeah. choke. Head and then by, like, illegal. the fourth, fifth dick punch, it's like, this <laughs> yeah. is all over, man. It's over. He was, was a drained was man. He, uh, who was, had, was it Chemo? Was he headbutting Hoist Gracie? Yeah, yes. he headbutted him a bunch. Yeah, yes. dude, that was fucking brutal. Yeah. Brutal. There was a lot of headbutting back in the days. It was an effective weapon. And it makes us, like, oh, that's awful, but... Small but, finger but, locks but never right. But there's all these other bones. How come you're allowed to hit with these bones, but you can't hit with that bone? Yeah. Also, Seems I would rather be headbutted by a guy that I don't give a shit. What, there's no, there's not much technique in headbutting. I would rather be headbutted than be head kicked by a dude who knows how to head kick. You think there's no technique, mm. but there really is. There's guys that spar and uh, they fight in Lethway, and Lethway is a type of uh, Muay Thai where they put ropes. Uh, over their knuckles, that's the, mm -hmm. the only thing they have, and they're allowed to headbutt, and it's some wild ass shit. And they do headbutt combinations on the pad, like they'll do tap tap bang. They'll like use their head and train it. Wow! And learn how. See if you can find that. L Lethway, W E I T L U T H. D you know who does commentary for it is our friend Robin Black. He does uh he does commentary for Lethway, but this is a brutal form of Muay Thai where you're allowed to headbutt. Because they, they already elbow, and I think they, you know, they're thinking, well, if I can knee and if knee, I can punch, yeah. I can do all these things, why can't I headbutt? It's right there. His fucking face is right there. Just mm. ah! Well, you remember what uh, what Mark Coleman used to do? Like, he got a few oh, yeah, UFCs man. in before the headbutts were illegal. Dude, he, he, was, would, he would smash people with the headbutts. So here, look at this dude. Look at this combination. Watch this. So this is a Robin, Robin Black breakdown. When he, he go this dude goes off to the side, pushes the dude's head away, and then immediately comes in with a perfect headbutt. Boom. He's just slamming him in the face on purpose with the top of his head. So he's trying to hit like his eyes and his nose and the soft tissue. He's trying to hit that with the hard part of his forehead. Watch yeah, this. I think, I think that, that will do a lot more damage than a fist. Dude, I feel like a headbutt Look at that. He only works him. one out of every thousand times. No, Ooh. man. No, no, no. No, this guy does it a lot. And if you do it this way, 
the way he's doing it, you're taking a really hard part of your forehead and you're smashing against a soft part of the eyes and the nose. This part yeah. of your forehead is hard so as hard. fuck, man. Yeah. Most guys who break their hand in fights break their hands on Top the of the head, yeah. That Top was, of the head, uh, especially boxing. <laughs>